Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be going through some more coins that I've been buying from the Royal Mint recently. Uh, so uh, we had a little bit of a mad um, few months recently where coins were coming out en masse. But mercifully things have quietened down. I've not had quite so many parcels delivered to my door. We're going to start with the first of um, these Royal Mint coins to arrive since the last one of these videos of the mass unboxings. We've actually got six different boxes to get through today. They were just piling up in my living room. I was like, right, it's time to crack on through these. Although we know there are plenty more coins to come out for the end of the year. Although I don't know if we'll do another one before the end of the year. It depends how many coins end up being released. So uh, obviously I have opened these boxes from underneath. I've saved the top because it's quite nice to rip it open and show but uh, I've obviously sat on well I haven't sat on them physically but I've had these in my possession uh, for quite some time and I, what I don't want is to unbox it and then find some sort of defect that needs to be dealt with because uh, I'm not sure after a few months of being stashed away the raw would be very open to uh, <laughs> any um, issues with the condition of the coins uh, so I have had a sneaky little peek okay we start with the um, National Gallery. I always get to call it the Portrait Gallery. Uh, so this is one of the coins that was in the annual coin set uh, for 2024. So this is not the first time we saw this design, but uh, as with most of the coins in the uh, annual coin set, uh, they get their own individual release throughout the year. We're still waiting on like the Team GB 50Ps release, which should be imminent given that the Olympic Games start pretty soon, um, except for the Churchill one, which rumor has it won't have its own individual release. But no, uh, a really nice design. I like the National Gallery design. I think it's a really cool coin. Um, not my favorite by any stretch of the imagination, but pretty cool. So that's the Bunk coin, brilliant uncirculated. And in this box, we should have the silver proof. I love a silver proof two pound coin. I think they look absolutely stunning. So there we go. Look at that. Very, very nice. That fleck, don't worry, that's on the actual capsule. It's not on the coin, um, but no. Very, very cool. As I, I always say, when I get my coins, what I tend to do is make sure that these are properly tightened. Um, it's not normally very much of a twist to fully tighten them. If you think of this like a clock face, it's maybe a five minute turn. Um, and the, the ones that I've been doing that with tend to not be toning as badly as other coins, which I know none of us want. But there we go, King Charles III. Super stuff. Um, and of course, because it's 2024, the Royal Mint had decided every time they release a coin this year, they're going to bring out a 140th of an ounce gold coin. Um, and I'm a mug. I can't stop buying these. They look so cool. Um, when I started buying these last year, I didn't expect many each year to have come out. Um, however, we are, we have got so many of them have come out. But it's very cool because it's that whole design, that design there, which has been shrunk down smaller than my little fingernail. I think that's really cool. It's a terrible purchase if you're investing in gold. Don't buy these as an investment in gold. Um, buy bullion or something sensible. But no, I think it's superb. Low mintage as well, 2034 of these produced. Um, that was, yeah, 2034. I just realized I didn't check the um, COA, what number we got on the uh, silver proof one. It doesn't really matter. Some people, it matters to them. Uh, 1196 out of a maximum mintage uh, or a maximum in this presentation of two and a half thousand obviously that is a ceiling uh, that doesn't mean that two and a half thousand will be produced uh, although if I've got number 1196 there's a good chance they've sold out quite well but uh, no, a lovely first coin to start with what I really like about these coins as well um, is the packaging I know I'm, the, I'm a coin collector not a packaging collector but I miss when the Brilliant Uncirculated packs used to be unique um, for each coin design. Not just the little panel of it and the, the wording on it, but the whole package was unique to each design. And again, this is sort of echoing what the coins used to be like. So anyway, I'm just trying to um, rationalize why I'm spending a fortune on these tiny little gold dots. But I like them and that's what matters. That's, what all, that's all that matters when you're buying coins. If you like the coins, everything is cool right okay box number two what have we got in here oh we've just got oh of course that's what it is <laughs> so no brilliant uncirculated version of this coin because it only came out 
in precious metals, silver and gold. This is the City Views Paris one ounce silver proof coin. This is a series I love. I don't normally buy sets if there aren't brilliant uncirculated examples of the coins. Um, that's normally a set I won't buy into, but I thought these were gorgeous. Uh, so we have had London, we've had Rome, and now we've got Paris. And just look at that design. There is so much amazing stuff going on in that design. I love the way that the clouds are done, the intricate detail of the city view of Paris. I've been to the top of the Eiffel Tower, is there it was September last year, so I've been to the top there and looked out across here. Is that the Louvre? No, I don't think it is, is it? Um, it's got a little square courtyard. I can't, I can't quite tell. Uh, oh, I think maybe we cross that bridge and over there is that little square space you can stand on. So the Louvre, I think it actually will be somewhere this way, won't it? I, mean, I don't know, but uh, I think that's absolutely lovely. Um, and an interesting series, because the first time the Royal Mint kind of strayed from minting British things on British coins, because the, uh, the first one was obviously London, which is British. I, I thought maybe we'll go to Edinburgh and Cardiff and Belfast, but no, we went to Rome next, which is... Uh, very not British, it's very Italian. Superb stuff, I really like this. I really hope the set continues because that is such a lovely design. And we've got number 699, at least not 666, that would be concerning. Uh, maximum uh, presentation of 2000 on these, so lower numbers. But uh, very, very cool. I really like the City View set, and like I said, if it continues, that will make me very happy. Box number three then, this came with a little gift, um, which I have off to the side, no spoilers until we get into the box. There we go, Star Wars Vehicles. I can't remember how many of those we've had and how many we're still expecting. I think we've had the Millennium Falcon, uh, was it then the TIE Fighter, then the X-Wing and the Death Star still to come. Um, so yeah, very much breaking the rule of uh, only British stuff gets minted on British coins, but I love Star Wars and I know there was a big uh, British effort in the films, not just the, the locations and the actors, but the people working behind the scenes as well. So we can kind of excuse that. I love Star Wars, so I won't grumble. We've got the lenticular feature at the top, which shows the Imperial gear and I think a TIE fighter if you hold it in the right direction, but the light's not letting me do that. So there's a version with color, a version without color, Again, I think this, these work really well with and without colour. Uh, sometimes a design looks terrible with colour and passable without um, and vice versa, but this is a nice series where the designs with and without colour have both been uh, acceptable. Excuse me, season there. Um, I can't be allergic to Star Wars and coins, that would be terrible. Right, off in the box we have got the Silver Brew 50B. Again, very similar to the version um, in Brimson Zerkley's condition, but obviously this is a silver coin. So yeah, very nice. And the, again, what I like as well with these Silver Proof 50Ps, when they come in the Perspex box and there's extra design details, it sort of expand out from the uh, the um, canvas of the coin. What number do we get on this? Woo, low number, woohoo, triple digits. 385 out of 7,500. There we go. I quite like getting lower numbers, it, it doesn't really phase me, and uh, lots of people say it doesn't actually have any impact, the number one is not the first one that was struck, um, and so on and so forth, but who cares. Anyway, the free gift was this, it's just a little holster, a little box where all the coins can sit into, which I think you can only get if you pre-order the coin set, not that I think getting a little bit of cardboard would be the deciding factor, oh yes, I would definitely subscribe to get these. Coming up next. We have got some coins in this box, of course. So this is um, the D-Day 50p. Now, I have a Diplodocus um, there because there was a, a Royal Mint code where if you entered the code, you got a free Diplodocus 50p in your order. Um, if you want to know where I find the discount codes, it's on my Discord server. There's lots of very nice people that will post disc, um, discount codes that will either give you free stuff or give you free postage or something to that effect. So D-Day 50p. This is an interesting release. It came out with a base metal 50p and a, a base metal bunk 50p with a another coin, was a farthing or something, which I didn't buy because I thought it was a, a bit of a rip-off. We've also got the Silver Proof. Chuck that box out of the way. There we go. Again. No, 
Well, it's nice and tight. Another very nice design. Um, really like this design. It's a, again, a stunning, stunning coin. Obviously, with the king on the obverse. We've got number 1,564 out of a presentation limit of 5,000. Obviously, the maximum coin mintage is higher because some of these silver-proof 50s will be put in other sets, hence why that number is higher than that. But in these boxes, there's only 5,000. Surprisingly low because it was quite the popular coin. Now, on release, I bought this silver-proof and this Brinton Circuit and obviously got my code for my free 50p. But later in the day, um, they released the 140th an ounce gold version of the coin as well which uh, I was most frustrated with because um, I didn't want to pay postage twice uh, <laughs> I, I guess I could have got another free Diplodocus but as you'll have seen in my Royal Mint vlog going down for the D-Day strike on the day event I picked one up in the gift shop whilst I was there again low number of these 2000, uh, 2024 of them which is cool there's another, another 140th of an ounce towards the most expensive ounces of gold anyone has ever bought. Right, pop these off to the side. Very happy with those. Penultimate box then. What have we got in here? Okay. Millennium Man. Oh, this is going to be Bond of the Noughties. It's a, is it a six coin set? I can't recall if this is coin number five or coin number four. I think we've got the 2010s to go. I think that might be the final coin, but no. A little hovercraft on it. Again, a series I had practically talked myself out of buying, but when I saw the image that was going to be on the coin, I thought, that is a really smart looking coin, and couldn't help myself but uh, sign up for these coins. But no. Uh, very cool one. Uh, once we get into this box, you can see silverproof one ounce version of the coin. And again, it just looks a little bit different because of the frosted finish on a proof coin. But I think it's absolutely stunning. This is a really nice series. Um, so I was more than happy to add this and the other coins from this set into my collection. I think it's going to wrap up fairly soon though. I don't think we've got an awful long, more, uh, long, an awful long time before it wraps up. But obviously all the six coins are coming out within 12 months of each other. I think one came out last year and the rest of all coming out this year, which is a, a bit of the, a squeeze on the finances, but there we go. We like the coins. What number did we get on this? 677 uh, out of 4007. So there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. I don't think this one comes with a, or maybe it'll come in, the, in a later, in the last box where we get the a little cardboard sleeve to pop all our bunk coins in. Uh, again, not that that really matters overall. And we wrap off with the last box for today's video. I'm all cleared out. I can start building up another pile of boxes as we go. The legendary Starfighter. So I think we're going back to Star Wars, which is cool because we like Star Wars. So this is the X-Wing, the iconic uh, ship of the uh, Rebel Alliance. Very, very nice. Again, I think the, the ships have, have looked so much better than the characters um, that were released last year. Obviously, we had who do we have? Luke and Leia, C-3PO and R2-D2, Chewbacca and Han Solo, uh, Darth Vader and the Emperor. And some of them didn't look the best, it has to be said. Uh, whereas these vehicles have looked absolutely stunning. Um, who knows what we might have some more Star Wars coins next year. What else? Maybe planets. I think some planets on coins would look quite cool. Though. It might be a bit boring, <laughs> but uh, plenty of themes within Star Wars that they can use um, to mint onto the coins. And then the last silver proof. Thank goodness they didn't do one fortieth of an ounce gold coins for these, because that would have been four extra in my collection for this year. Silverproof version, once again, in this nice little Perspex box with the colour on the design. It's a lovely, lovely coin. Oh, look, there's me. Hello. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, it's all falling apart. Uh, naturally, this it should come apart, so that's not, not a design issue. This just magnetically holds that in place. And then you've got the coin in the capsule here. Obviously, I'm not touching the face of the coin. This is within a capsule. <laughs> that's where the capsule falls apart, and I put a fingerprint straight on the face of the coin. I like some sort of door, but no. Very, very happy with this little haul of coins. Um, I 
don't think I've really got a favourite. I was quite happy with most of them. Maybe the Paris City Views because that is a very, very nice set of coins. As ever though, I'm always interested to know what your favourite coin that's been released recently has been. Uh, what have you recently been buying? What have you added to your collection? Not just from the Royal Mint, if you've been buying some foreign coins, it's always interesting to see what you guys are purchasing for your own collections. Uh, what releases are you excited for? I'm excited to wrap up the Star Wars set. Um, I think the Death Star design is going to look really, really cool in person. It looks nice in the images, so fingers crossed that translates to the coin that you hold in your hand. Uh, but no, I'll start stockpiling again and we will do some more of um, these unboxings uh, later in the year once my little stockpile has built up once again. As usual, you'll find links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord if you want to come and join me on that. As I said, you get those discount offers over on the Discord server that get posted by the lovely people there too. There are also links to my other social media channels, uh, the PO Box dress if you want to write into me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job, so please do check them out too. All it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.